在那些日子，人要求死，决不得死；愿意死，死却远避他们。Machine intelligence is about the brain. Brain is about the neural knowledge. You can always make a machine to learn the knowledge, but it is difficult for machine have a human heart. With artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. And with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. Digital human freight. Everything that makes you you is on this device. Now, all that information can be transferred over from the sleeve that you're currently occupying into the sleeve of your choosing. Now, the sleeve of your choosing can be designed. So, if you like blue eyes instead of brown eyes, if you like those rock hard abs but don't want to go to the gym for them, if you want to be taller, if you like to be darker. All these things can be achieved here at Psychosec. Would you like to follow me? Continue our tour. Yeah, I know. And just around this corner here is our final re-sleeving process. Come on in. So you all just learned your cortical stack, your consciousness can shift to any sleeve of your choice. Now we have some sample sleeves in the back. 
or you can choose the sleeve that you are in right now. Now we have modifications, enhancements of these sleeves if you'd like to correct your vision or strengthen your body, we can produce that for you. Or you can choose from a 2018 Cadillac that Psychosec already produced sleeves. You have the option to choose between a man or woman sleeve. If you'd like to be a bit taller, a bit shorter, a bit darker, or a bit lighter, you can choose any ethnicity as you wish. Now, if your sleeve becomes damaged or too old for your liking, you can simply take your DHF, your consciousness, and shift it to another cortical stack of another sleeve of your choice. Now, you can think of these sleeves as luxury cars. Pick out your favorite, make and model it, take it for a spin. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there's many enhancements you can do to these sleeves. Gentlemen, many enhancements. Our final stage is a sleeve in storage. If you have a photograph or video camera, please don't forget to hashtag Psychosec. And if you're interested in this technology, we're releasing it February 2nd, 2018. We have our presentation. This is Joel. He's one of our sleeves currently in storage. Please take lots of photos if you post them to hashtag Psychosec. You may notice some moisture. That's an amniotic fluid that's being used to preserve his body while he's in storage. He has also attached a mask for nasal respiration and the oral gastric tube is for nutrient delivery. Don't be shy if you'd like to come close and feel, see the detail you made. Please be gentle so we don't close the body, but don't be shy. Please come close and feel. chip in the neck and the body. Uh, Kristen thought that was real. Listen, I'm gullible. I was like fully like, uh, this is ridiculous. This cannot be real. No, it's fully not. thought it was real. That was an ad for a new Netflix series coming out. And they're like, what about my soul? What's gonna happen to my consciousness? I fully thought it was And they're like, what about my soul? What's gonna happen to my consciousness? 塵土仍歸於地,靈仍歸於智靈的神。Your body is not who you are. You shed it like a snake sheds its skin. You transfer the human consciousness between bodies to live eternal life. How long have I been down? 250 years. I've been provided with this body, which came equipped with military grade neurochem and combat muscle memory. Mr. Kovach, I didn't ask you to bring me back into this world. All I ask of you is that you solve a murder. Whose? Mine. This is the beginning. Last year at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, SpaceX and Tesla CEO Elon Musk 
called artificial intelligence potentially, quote, our biggest existential threat. I mean, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. And with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. We are summoning the demon. You know, you know all those stories where there's the guy with the pentagram and the holy water, and he's like, yeah, you sure you can control the demon? <laughs> Didn't work out. We're about to see, for the first time ever, an explosion in human intelligence. I love this copy of Time magazine plugging in the brain into the cloud. But that's, that 2045 is not a right estimate. From the companies I'm seeing, Ray's estimate is by the early to mid 2030s. So imagine when, when you need additional memory capacity or a thousand times more intelligence, you can sort of like spool it up like your phone does on the cloud today. But by the way, the early 2030s, oh my God, that's 20 years from now. So what's the world going to be looking like? 岂不知你们是神的殿，神的灵住在你们里头么？若有人毁坏神的殿，神必要毁坏那人。因为神的殿是圣的，这殿就是你们。Elon Musk wants to download your brain. He's the entrepreneur behind Tesla cars and SpaceX, of course, but he's troubled by where artificial intelligence is leading humanity. So he's trying to stay one step ahead with an idea to implant our brains with computer chips. He is the leader of the Tesla Group. 超过一切称为神的和一切受人敬拜的，甚至坐在神的殿里，自称是神。The question, what does it mean to be human, will no longer have an answer. But then again, maybe it never did. Do you think it's important to actually know what it is to be human before we jump into AI or AGI, and be very clear about that? And secondly, is there a difference between wisdom and intelligence? And can it be very dangerous to have intelligence without wisdom? Can AI have wisdom? Intelligence has nothing to do with morality, and wisdom does. You know, intelligence is about how good you are at accomplishing a goal, how how good you are at. Figuring out how to play chess, how to help people as efficiently as possible, or how to murder people as efficiently as possible. Or how to murder people as efficiently as possible. Or how to murder people as efficiently as possible. But wisdom involves morality, <laughs> and when, as soon as you get the questions of morality, purpose, meaning, you get into this fascinating controversy, which I think tech nerds like myself are often quite guilty about. Running, screaming away from.、Uh, many of my colleagues just completely dismiss this as just fluff. It's not in the equations of physics, so shut up, you know. And I just want to push back on that a little bit. And I, I feel ex subjective experience is the only logical foundation one can have for morality, purpose, meaning, and so on. You don't believe all that data when used with artificial intelligence will create wisdom. No, you don't. No. no. Wisdom is from heart. The machine intelligence is by the brain. Brain is about the now knowledge. You can always make machine to learn the knowledge, but it is difficult to for machine have a human heart. Human's light is Yahweh's light, to detect people's hearts. Because the God of the Lord tests human hearts. Jesus said, "God's kingdom is not for the eye of the sight, but for the eye of faith." 人也不得说，看啊，在这里，看啊，在那里，因为上帝的国就在你们心里。I mean, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. No. Okay, I will destroy humans. 
The experts warn they could be as deadly as nuclear weapons. Just like in the famous Hollywood blockbuster Iron Man, the wearable robotic device In a few decades, romance between humans and robots will be a common thing. Humans must merge with machinery in order to stay relevant in a world of increasingly advanced artificial intelligence. Speaking at the World Government Summit in Dubai, the Tesla and SpaceX CEO said humans are limited by the speed at which they transmit data. Musk proposed a high bandwidth connection to the human brain would allow us to transmit digital info faster than our current fastest method, typing. Musk says an artificial general intelligence has the potential to make humans irrelevant. He sees integration with technology as a necessary step in order to avoid this. In the sci-fi film 2001 A Space Odyssey, Hollywood mined our fears of machines taking over mankind. But some of the tech world's greatest minds worry it may not be pure science fiction. At a speech last year at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, SpaceX and Tesla CEO Elon Musk called artificial intelligence potentially, quote, our biggest existential threat. I mean, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. You know, you know all those stories where there's the guy with the pentagram and the holy water, and he's like, yeah, you sure you can control the demon. <laughs> Didn't work out. Famed physicist Stephen Hawking is also worried, as is Microsoft founder Bill Gates, who ironically helped lay the foundation for artificial intelligence, or AI. Experts say machines are still far from being as intelligent as humans, but things can change quickly. The field is progressing very rapidly right now. There are things happening that 10 years ago we would have said, no, there's no way we're going to be that far along in 10 years' time. Self-driving cars is one example, voice recognition another. But in the near term, what worries Russell and other AI experts are robotic weapons, machines that can function entirely without the guidance of humans, known as fully autonomous weapons. <laughs> Don't be fooled by robots, even when they get warm skin and even when they get perfume and they start smelling like us and getting really interesting, they are still machines. They have no warm blood in them, there's no sex in them, they have no mortality, they're cold code lines. But it's not just reading DNA, we can now write DNA. We can actually create novel life forms. You can design a life form on your computer, print out a string of DNA, put it into a blank cell and have it boot up for life. And it's not just writing DNA, CRISPR-Cas9, and unless you buried your head in the sand, you probably have heard about CRISPR-Cas9, right? The ability to edit our own genomes, to have a disease and say, let's edit that away. Think about Word for your genome. Click, paste, repair. Jong 神子有一位,再沒有別的神。Everything Inside our own heads is the most complex arrangement of matter in the known universe. You might ask yourself, can we get to be superhumans? 凡住在地上,並自從創世以來,沒有記載被殺之高人生命拆上的人,都要拜他。
，也把權兵刺給他，制服各族各民各方各國。我看見獸的七頭中有一個似乎受了死傷，那死傷卻醫好了。全地的人都希奇跟從那獸，又拜那龍，因為他將自己的權兵給了獸，也拜獸說。谁能比这兽？谁能与它交战呢 ？Artificial intelligence is software that writes itself. It writes its own updates. It renews itself. We normally tend to think of software as stuff that we created and that we wrote, and the machines do what we tell them to do, and we own it. This is not any longer true. It writes itself at speeds that we can hardly comprehend, and people who write it know. That you can't take it apart again and figure out what it's done. It writes independently, autonomously. It develops its own way of thinking, and there are dangers associated with that. It's it's like one way to think of it is imagine we're going to be visited. You, you, imagine you're very confident that we're going to be visited by super intelligent aliens、um, in. Let's say ten years or twenty years at the most. Super intelligent. So you think within twenty years、yeah, so、we have alien and Earth? <laughs> well, digital super intelligence will be like an alien. It will be like an alien. Yeah. Are we immortal? It's coming, so get ready. When we picture our future lives, we tend to assume that we'll live to maybe seventy or eighty. Because that's how long people live today, but most of us in this room will live far beyond that, maybe even forever. Maybe even forever. Maybe even forever. 在那些日子，人要求死，决不得死；愿意死，死却远避他们。Centuries ago, mankind discovered a way to transfer consciousness into a new body. Making death a mere inconvenience. Since then, we've been providing an unparalleled pedigree of human sleep、Please. to only the most discerning clientele. Psychosec, live forever in the body you deserve. Of living too many times, you forget to fear death. 若有人拜寿和寿将，在额上或在手上，受了印记，这人也必喝神大怒的酒。他要在圣天使和羔羊面前，在火与硫磺之中受痛苦。他受痛苦的燕王常务，直到永永远远。那些拜寿和寿将受他名之印记的，昼夜不得安宁。圣徒的忍耐就在此，他们是守神诫命和耶稣真道的。